and welcome to your meeting. Let's pray before hearing the word of God. God, our Heavenly Parent, Creator of heaven and earth, you are the source of wisdom and knowledge. We are coming to your streams of wisdom. God Almighty, pour out your wisdom in our life. We commit our students' community in your mighty hands. You bless each one of them. We are praying for your church, government, and all leaders of the nations. And then you will bless every one of us. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable to you, my rock and redeemer. Today is first Sunday after Pentecost. Churches are meditating. Today topic is wisdom and uh, knowledge, gift of God. I have given today's sermon title is Biblical Understanding on Wisdom and uh, Knowledge. We are uh, achieving knowledge from studies, research, observation, testing, and also we are studying about the earth, creations, living things and non-living things, and non-living things uh, and uh, plan, planets for knowing in micro and uh, macro level. Today, surprisingly, online education is becoming common. Wisdom is right way of using our knowledge in a different context. Some kings did good things in the sight of God. Some kings did evil in the sight of God in the history of Israel. Using wisdom in our knowledge will be helpful to become good citizens. The reason of problems behind the personal and national development is absent of wisdom. James Epistle of James chapter 3 verses 13 says, The real wisdom comes from above is your life that your works are done with the gentleness. Wickedness does not come down from above. Most scholars suggest wisdom as practical and wisdom comes from everyday experience. Knowledge is information, while wisdom is application of information to maximize the positive and minimize the negative in any given situation. Wisdom of God is visible in the creation of heaven and earth and uh, living and uh, non-living things. Biblical understanding of wisdom in which wisdom comes from above. I would like to shortly explain what is biblical understanding of wisdom and uh, knowledge and how to access it in our life. Here the first point I would like to say that Jesus the source of wisdom and knowledge. When we study about the gospel according to Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 52 there which uh, the parents of Jesus every day visiting to Jerusalem for the Passover festival this time at the time of 12 years old uh, Jesus uh, parents also they went to Jerusalem to partake uh, in the Passover festival they went there at the end of the festival they came back but unfortunately they were not knowing Jesus was not with them Jesus stayed at the Jerusalem temple and his parents came back and reached Jerusalem after three days 
it is mentioned in the following scripture portions jesus was teaching jesus was sitting among the teachers and jesus was listening to them jesus was and asking questions and uh, scribes pharisees the teachers of the scriptures were he amazed in the knowledge of jesus christ the understanding of jesus christ because it is uh, he is 12 years old it is not because of that he is he has no this earthly education but his wisdom and knowledge is coming from god but he himself he is the source of wisdom and knowledge so we can understand the uh, the uh, he, jesus was listening and asking questions and uh, communicating with them was from the source of uh, so, uh, source of god he know everything he is the behind the scripture that's what we say we are seeing that uh, in the jesus public ministry jesus was teaching wisdom to um, his audience his uh, disciples how to walk good life how to walk in right way how to walk in right path jesus was teaching his audience his disciples he jesus was teaching the god's way that uh, for the betterment of one another that's here clear and also one, one more words i will ask one more uh, one more scripture portion i will read it because of uh, that is uh, clearly says about uh, jesus as uh, the source of wisdom the uh, apostle paul the letter of apostle paul to the colossians chapter 2 verses 2 3 verse i will i would like to read i want their hearts to be encouraged and united in love so that they may have all the riches of assured understanding and have the knowledge of god's mystery that is christ himself in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge this is clear about the jesus as the source of wisdom and knowledge <laughs> secondly we will see about the some of the source of wisdoms here the word of god is a book of wisdom the bible is teaching us wisdom of the obedience of, of word of god is the great wisdom if you obey his word we can be pure and uh, walk on god's way and uh, Psalm number 119 explains and it, the word of God has different names that are uh, different uh, word of God, love, love of the Lord uh, and uh, statutes, commandments, instructions. The life based on word of God makes us role model of wisdom. And uh, Job was one of the role model of wisdom. wisdom uh, when we study of, about the book of job we know book of job and uh, proverbs and ecclesiastes are the uh, wisdom literature the one of the book book of job chapter 1 uh, verse 1 clearly says that uh, uh, job is one of the role model of wisdom in the bible uh, job was blameless and upright one who feared god and it turned away from evil that's what says clearly says that and th- uh, here again another one source of the wisdom that are coming from god that uh, uh, king solomon he uh, built a jerusalem temple then he offered the uh, sacrifice and uh, he appeared god appeared to king solomon in the dream of after he had a thousand band of rings on that altar 
God said, ask what I should give you. That times, he saw King Solomon asked to God, give your servant, therefore an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern good and evil. King Solomon asked, he was not asking money, he was not asking silver, he was not asking gold, he was not asking jewels, but he asked the wisdom and the knowledge, the discern, ability to discern good and wrong, and uh, good and evil. So God was pleased at him. So God has given wisdom and knowledge and all other things that uh, he was not asking, God has given to him. And, uh, blessed king Solomon. It is uh, God has given um, wisdom and knowledge to king Solomon. It is uh, everyone knows. Finally, I would like to say something about how to access wisdom and knowledge in our life. We know we get wisdom from God and also through the human teachings. Firstly, to access wisdom from above, we should read to and hear and obey the word of God. That, uh, that will uh, help to access wisdom from above. To get wisdom and knowledge from God. Secondly, uh, we know that uh, how to access wisdom and knowledge, that uh, we know the good books that uh, some wise people has written, some of the good books. And uh, when we read and uh, uh, reading and uh, hearing, the good thoughts of the wise people will help and enable us to live in wisdom. And also, According to the Proverbs chapter 2 verses 1 to 4, here is a, much of things explains how to access wisdom from above. That uh, accordingly, the chapter, the chapter says that uh, we should accept the word of God to receive uh, wisdom and knowledge. Then fourthly, again saying to accept the to get to get wisdom and knowledge, we should desire, we should desire and attentive prayer to receive wisdom and knowledge. And also, we should pray for wisdom and knowledge without doubt. It says about from the uh, Epistle of James, chapter one four. Then, uh, Proverbs chapter twelve verses. One to total between, it is says that we should seek God for wisdom and knowledge. Like it is said, freely gets, but we should seek God to get wisdom and knowledge. Like when we how we search for gold and jewels, that it is a valuable thing. So we should search it. Then again, to get wisdom, we should acknowledge. What we should acknowledge? That we should acknowledge that God gives wisdom and knowledge. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth. The, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs chapter 2, 6 says. Then finally again, uh, two more points. How to access wisdom that uh, we should try to walk right way or God's way to access wisdom in our life. Why? That uh, uh, we should try to walk right way or God's way to access wisdom. Wisdom is given to those who walk in right way. Wisdom is given to righteous one to make justice. The 
that the Lord is uh, giving uh, the wisdom to righteous one, those who are uh, trying to work in the ways of God, especially, especially we know in the Old Testament that um, so the purpose of giving wisdom is to make justice. We know about the Solomon, King Solomon also want um, to make justice the wisdom is given to the righteous one and also finally we can access it as a it is a wisdom and knowledge is a gift of God it is a gift if you have large huge number of money or large amount of money or jewels or gold or any other valuable things or we cannot purchase this wisdom from God but it is a gift of God it is a free God is giving, freely giving. But we have to, following these all other points, we have to seek, we have to pray, we have to uh, desire, and uh, we have to obey the word of God. And, uh, and so many things we have to <coughs> do. It is a gift. And uh, God is giving wisdom and knowledge as a gift. And that uh, uh, when we uh, finally we will know that uh, we have seen the three points here, uh, how knowledge is what is knowledge and um, how what is wisdom and uh, how knowledge can be used uh, for the better wisdom and also what is the biblical understanding of uh, wisdom and uh, knowledge uh, source of knowledge and Jesus asked the source of knowledge and uh, sources of knowledge and uh, finally we uh, have seen how to access it and uh, this uh, we have to uh, think ourselves how to access it uh, shall we uh, able to access it we have to uh, ask ourselves that uh, uh, shall we make an attempt to access wisdom and knowledge from above above at free of cost it's a gift of god and uh, let's close uh, this message with the word of prayer. Yes. Heavenly Parent, thank you for giving insights of your wisdom. God Almighty, enable us to use your wisdom in our day-to-day -day life. Help us to receive wisdom and knowledge from you. We pray in Jesus' name.